All right, we're down to part D on this that says graph F using a graphing utility. And then the next part is going to ask us to find the local maxima and minima, if any exist. We're going to round it to two decimal places, which is the same thing as saying find the turning points. The turning points, I mean, think about it. If a graph comes up and back down, this is called a maximum, but it's also where the graph turns and goes from increasing to decreasing. So let's go to our calculator, and on here, I'm in my y equals, I'm going to clear out what I have, and I'm going to put in um, our function, which is um, parenthesis x minus 2, close the parenthesis, squared, and then another parenthesis, x plus 2, and then close the parenthesis, and then another parenthesis, x plus 4. We can put it in, even in factored form, and our calculator will understand it. Now, if I do a zoom 6, which is our normal standard window, we see that we can't really see the whole entire graph. Well, if you think about it, that makes sense, because our y-intercept was way up here at 0, 32. So we're going to have to adjust our window. Our x's appear to be fine. It's really the y's that we can't see very well. So we're, we need to, you know, open this up. Since our y-intercept is way up here at 32, maybe let's go from negative 50 to positive 50, just so we hopefully we can see better. So for the y-min, I'm going to type in negative 50. And for the y-max, I'm going to type in 50 and let's graph it. And now we can see that graph much, much better. Now we're supposed to find our maxima and minima. Looking from left to right, we have this point right here, which looks like it is a minimum or a turning point. In order to find that, remember we go second, trace, and then we're going to find number three, which is minimum. And now it's asking us for the left bound, so we're going to move over to the left side of that spot. And remember, we want to be well over on the left side and hit Enter. And now we're going to go to the right and hit Enter. And then for our guess, we're going to hit Enter and let the calculator do that. So it looks like we have a minimum at negative 3.19 if we round to two decimal places, negative 2 point, or 25.96. So we want to make a note of that really quickly so that we can go through and find our next point. Our next one that we need to find is this maximum here. Now we can't assume that it's the y-intercept. It might not be. We need to find it. So we'll do second trace, number four for maximum, and this time we're going to arrow over and so that we're on the left side of it and hit enter and then we're going to arrow until we're on the right side again and hit enter and then enter for guess. So we have a maximum at negative 0.31 and then 33.28. Again, make note of this because we'll have to put it on our paper as our maximum. Now we have another minimum right over here, but if you'll use some critical thinking skills, we don't have to go through and find it using our minimum feature. We had an x-intercept here at positive 2, and we said that the graph touches and then turns around at that spot. If that's true, then if it touches and goes back, that means it can't go down any further than that. That tells us that this place at 2, an x value of 2, is the other minimum. So now we can go back to our screen, our, our um, drawing, and we can put in all of those interesting things that we found. We had a maximum here at negative 0.31 comma 33.28. We had a minimum over here at negative 3.19 comma negative 25.96 and then we can finish drawing in our graph and mine won't be beautiful but we'll get the idea of it something like that.